Well, James, I'm not sure which one you're referring to because lucky we've got two leopards here, not just one. And I apologize if James was breaking up a little bit. He's all the way on the other side of the world and sometimes we have a few problems. But listen to our leopard. Do you hear he's growling? Now he's upset because, like I was saying, there's not one leopard here, there's two. There's another little female leopard on the other side of the tree. You can see, there she is. So there's a tiny little female, and I think that's the leopard that James is referring to, because I know James loves little Shongile, which is that little leopard there. Now, Junior, you want to know how big leopards can get. Well, this male here is about as big as male leopards can get, and he weighs almost close to 200 pounds, so he's very, very big and very strong. Look at the size of his neck. You see he's got big muscles on his shoulder and his neck area, and he'll use that when he's trying to hunt. And the reason why he's here with this little female is because the little female made a kill and she caught herself a antelope like called a diker which is about the size of a baby deer maybe a little bit smaller and she put it up in this big tree which is up there you can see its legs hanging down there and so he's now come and stolen it from the little girl so there's the carcass hanging down the little legs and so this male has seen it from far away and he then came in and stole this from that little female now he's upset because the female is close to the tree so the female is just behind the tree there and he knows that this is somewhere where the female might go up and try and get to the food and he doesn't want that little female to eat anymore he wants all of that meat for himself so he's being a bit selfish but that's how it is for a leopard because leopards don't spend time together they like to be on their own so it's not usual to see two leopards in the place. So Mr. Williams, you're asking why our vehicles don't have car doors or windows and whether or not we're safe. Well, yes we are Mr. Williams. The reason why we're safe is because these animals, they from a young age get used to the sight of the vehicles. They realize that the vehicles are not something that hurts them, we don't steal food from them, we don't chase them, we don't hunt them off these vehicles, and so it becomes an object that just moves around much like a tree, and so they don't really worry about it, but it has a smell to it, and that means that they won't climb it like a tree or go after anything like that, and as long as we keep our legs and hands inside, we're going to have a pro we won't have too much of an issue, and you can see this male leopard is not worried about us at all, he's more worried about the other female, and if she wasn't here, you'd find he'd probably be fast asleep, because it's still early in the afternoon before he actually decides decides to do anything. Now I wonder where our little female is going to go. There she is. So Jocelyn, you're wondering if leopards bite. Well yes, leopards can bite. You have to be very careful with leopards. They are one of Oh, fight, not bite. Sorry about that, Jocelyn. Um, yes, they will fight, and that's why he's growling at her. He's trying to tell her to stay away, and he's giving her a warning by growling. If he was going to fight with her, he knows that she's a bit smaller, and he can actually stay away from her and not have to worry too much. If it was a big male that was walking there, then you'd find these two would have fought heavily. The males would have gone at each other and fought with one another. Look, look, you see? You see how he's getting upset with her because she's getting too close now. So he's telling her back off. This is my kill, not yours. And you see, look, she's upset because she wants to eat. She's hungry. And she killed this, so she feels like this is hers. And there we go. You see, he's chased her off now. So he said to her, this is mine, you go away. So that's not really a big fight. If it was a bigger male, you would find that maybe they would have fought a lot more than that. But now look, he's looking in the tree. I wonder if he's not going to go up the tree for us. Because they do like to lie in trees. I'm going to try and just see. No, he's going to come back this side and lie down. But you see now, he's told that little female, I'm chasing you away. You stay far away. Don't be cheeky and come too close. Isn't that amazing? So Zoe, you're wondering if a leopard would eat a giraffe? Well, Zoe, yes they can. Not big, tall, fully grown giraffe like an adult male or an adult female. Those are a little bit too big for a leopard and those are only killed by lions. But young baby giraffe, yes, you'll find male leopards will go after young baby giraffe from time to time and they do hunt them every now and then. So it does happen and you'll find that they will take advantage. And I've actually seen this male that you're seeing here on a giraffe carcass before. It, I don't think he killed it because he was there and a lot of it had already been eaten. And so I think he just kind of found it and hyenas were there and he just tried to then get a meal out of it. But the male, the other male that's territorial or dominant in this area and has his section has definitely 
killed a giraffe and I've seen him kill a giraffe so quite amazing now you see this this male has got nice yellow teeth and a very broken right canine and that tells us that he's an older male he's one of our oldest that we see here in fact he is the oldest that we see at the moment and he's been pushed out by some younger males and so now he's what's called nomadic now nomadic means that he doesn't have a fixed area so it's not like he has a house it's like he goes from hotel to hotel as he tries to kind of go and look around for food and and females and so he spends a lot of his time just in between areas and actually is not dominant and we haven't seen him for l many months and so it's very lucky that he's come out and we were able to then see him again because he's one of my favorite leopards now I'm going to stay here with them as they have a little argument between the two of them I see the little females starting to come back now so while they do that let's go across to Taylor and see what she's got I think she's got something very tall but I didn't hear very well